Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Samsung's always on display feature on any device. Now this is a pretty cool new feature in the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Basically, even when your screen is off, it still displays the clock, date, and some other information, which is perfect if you keep your phone laying on your desk or your nightstand. But as you can imagine, this feature is heavily dependent on hardware in the S7, as well as some software optimizations. So there are some issues with trying to get this going on any other device. First of all, the always on feature takes advantage of the AMOLED screen in the Galaxy S7, which doesn't use any power to display black pixels. So that's the first thing I should get into. Before you start on this one, I would suggest that you only try this on devices with AMOLED displays because traditional LCD screens need to have their entire backlight turned on before they'll display anything, and that would be a huge battery drain. And speaking of battery drain, Samsung's using some software optimizations to keep that under control with the Galaxy S7, and other devices simply aren't going to have those features. But that's where a properly programmed app comes into play. There's already a few apps that emulate Samsung's always on feature, but it's important that any app you're using for this purpose has a set of features that can mitigate the battery drain. And after checking out the competition, I can safely say that an app called Glance Plus offers the best combination of features and battery saving options. The app is available for free on the Google Play Store, so if you want to get Samsung's always on feature on your device, search it by name to get it installed or use the link in step one in my full tutorial. Then once you have the app installed, go ahead and open it up, then Glance should ask for permission to modify system settings on your device, so toggle the switch at the top of the screen. Once you've taken care of that, go ahead and open Glance Plus again. From here, start by enabling the always on feature with the toggle switch at the top of this screen. After that, the next thing you should do is make sure this position option is set to random because otherwise you might get some screen burn with the clock staying in the same position all the time. With that out of the way though, you can do a bit of customization. For instance, you can change the clock style from digital to analog, you can adjust the calendar view, and you can even set a custom background image, but I wouldn't recommend that unless it's mostly black. Beyond that, you can even have it display your notifications while your screen is off. So if you'd like to try that out, enable the option here, then enable Glance's notification listener service on the following screen. But about those battery saving features, if you scroll down to the features section, you'll see how they work. By default, Glance will come on when you turn your screen off, then turn off after two minutes. But if you tap this always on option, you can change that. Keeping in mind that this will be a battery drain by nature, you can set Glance to display your clock date and other information when your phone is being charged. There are a few different options here, but I'd recommend going with when charge. Aside from that, this inactive hours option lets you turn it off during certain times, which would be good if you're a light sleeper. Then, as long as you keep this detect phone in pocket option enabled, Glance will turn itself on and off using your phone's proximity sensor. Then finally, towards the bottom of the settings menu here, you can adjust the brightness and font of your always on display. I like the adaptive brightness option myself, which uses your light sensor to adjust brightness automatically. But if you'd rather do things manually, my suggestion would be to only use this content brightness slider, since the background brightness option will generally use more battery. With everything set up though, all you have to do to try it out is simply turn your screen off. Almost immediately, your always on display will come on, and as you can see, it's just a subtle informative widget basically. And yes, this technically isn't always on because it'll turn off in two minutes, but with the proximity wake up and the always on while charging feature, you'll get almost all of the benefits of Samsung's implementation with virtually none of the battery drain it would normally cause. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.